What's happening guys, it's Mitch. Uh, I want to do a short video today uh, talking about real man rules number three. Uh, and this is being willing to get outside of your comfort zone or learning just to be uncomfortable. Uh, and that's, uh, when you first hear that, uh, I mean when people told me that before, it's, it's like, oh well I don't want to be uncomfortable, it's natural to be comfortable it's to be you know to be happy to be comfortable is to be happy in some ways uh, but today I wanted to talk a little bit more about getting outside of your comfort zone and actually living if you I mean if, if when you finally do that if you've done that before in your life just taking a step forward it could be small it could be big just enough for you to feel uncomfortable in your own skin uh, where you know that like well, I don't know how I'm going to do, I don't know how I'm going to perform, uh, stuff like that. And then once you're finally done with it, once you finally got outside your comfort zone, whether it's a minute or ten minutes or however long it takes for you to realize, okay, that was done and it wasn't so bad, then you're like, man, that was actually really, really cool. There's a, a couple examples I could share with you. I was in uh, um, Denver this last weekend to help my dad work on his uh, his cabin and uh when we were at my stepsister's house, they have a zip line that goes in the whole backyard. It was an awesome house, awesome backyard. It was huge. And there was uh, her daughter, my stepniece, um, Olivia, is, I forget how old she is, but she was, I mean, she's probably five, I want to say. Maybe if not even that. And uh, the zip line was up kind of high, and it's attached to a tree on both ends. And she climbed up there, and she wasn't sure about how it was going to go. She was very, very uncomfortable with uh, with doing it, but she got up there, and with enough support, she hung on and flew all the way down across the yard, just holding on for dear life, and she was so scared to start it, but as soon as she reached the end and got down on the ground, she turned around, and she was like, I want to do it again! And it's like, before, if she hadn't have done that first one, and saw how fun it was, and saw that she, it was it was great. If she had a great time, she she wouldn't know that she wanted to do it again. And she kept going over and over and over and over again. So it was it was pretty funny. And I I thought of how that pretty much applies to life in general. There was a good example that happened to me when I was making. I mean, for me, it's like talking in front of people uh, when I had a public speaking class. Man, it was it was tough. And or just doing videos like this when it's just me. I mean, there's there's really no problem. But uh, there was the one when we were making the first episode of Iron Sharpens Iron, uh, and I was you know talking in front of the camera and trying to think of different things to say or whatever. It was so uncomfortable, like I was dreading doing it because I hadn't done it before. So that was one of the things that I had to kind of get past. But as soon as that day was over, as soon as we were done filming, I was like, man, this was sweet. Like I was thinking about the end product and what it was going to look like. And everything like that, uh, but it was it was just awesome. So what I want to challenge you to today to do is to literally step outside of your comfort zone, get out of it. I mean, it's you'll you'll be so happy that you did. And you know what? Even if you fail, even if you fall down and you mess up or whatever, then continue failing forward. That's a, a great quote that I that I heard before. I'm not sure who said it, but uh, it's. It's it's a great quote to live by because even if you fail, then you're still failing forward. You correct your course and you go back and you're continuously moving forward. So that's what I want to challenge you to do today because I'm doing the exact same thing. Making videos and stuff like that, that's the first step for me to get out of my comfort zone. And I want you guys to see me instead of just all the articles that I've been writing up on Mindset Fitness and on Empower and stuff like that. I mean, you, you could put a... Um, all the writing, put a face to that writing so you can see who I am and stuff like that. But uh, to be a real man, you have to be willing to get out of your comfort zone and make something happen. Make it happen. Take action. So that is real man rules number three. If you want to learn a little bit more about what I'm doing and uh, keep up to date with me, follow me at the link, the first link below and the second link. I'll put another link to the Mindset Fitness blog. So you can see everything that's happening there. And it is brand new. I just updated the site too. So it's pretty, pretty sweet. I'm so excited about everything that's happening. So um, you guys can check out that link there too. Oh, and be sure to like 
my page on Facebook. There will be more links. All that stuff will be down below in the, in the description box. So don't worry about that. Um, anyways, I, I will talk to you guys later for Real Man Rules number four coming up soon. Peace.